This is my ColecoVision. I picked it up a few days ago for five dollars at a thrift store. Um, it was so dirty and grimy, it was unbelievable. Um, you can still see a lot of the dust is still settled in the vents. I have to figure out to find something small enough and soft enough that I can clean it out of there. Um, one of the controller was missing, and this one was disassembled. I put it back together again, and it works perfectly. I had to put tin foil on the contacts for this side and this side because they were dead. The little metal tabs were broken, so I had to replace them. I cleaned all the contacts for everything, and it works perfectly. Um, I cleaned out the con contacts, blew all the dust and junk out of the case, um, and it works beautifully now. I actually have an RF switch, which is one of these. I like these things, up. they're kind of cool. This one I had to repair. Um, the the uh, wire for the coax cable, the center cable, came off of this, came off of the soldering joint that's inside here. And this is the one that came with it. It's you can see that they're basically identical. So this one doesn't have a coax plug. This one's an older one, really old one. This one's actually for Commodore computers. It says Commodore right there. On the top, you can't see it on the camera, but it's there. I can barely make it out. And this one has been, well, obviously not used very well and has not had a good life. This one, on the other hand, was bought years and years ago to go with like a Nintendo or something. And it's it works. It works, works brilliantly. So I haven't bothered buying one of those coax to like RC, RCA to like coax plugs yet. But this does me fine. I fixed it. It works beautifully. So I'm just gonna leave it with that. I also have one of the the power bricks, but this one must be for this one must be a later ColecoVision, like from like the eighty four or something. Because it has um it's in the center of the cord. It's not one of those bricks that goes on the wall. It goes in the center. Um anybody who'd like to find out what's inside of a coax or one of these R switches, it looks a lot like this. Should probably the cover off. On these archer ones it's easy to do, you just wedge a screwdriver under there and you pry it and it comes off. You gotta make sure you don't hurt your hand. Ow. That's what that is. I had to fix that connection right there. Oh, that kind of hurt. Let's scrape, scrape me. There's a coil there and a coil there. That's like it. Now, there are different kinds of, like, um, different kinds of cartridges. I haven't got a Nintendo cartridge handy, but you, most of us know how big they were. I've got a couple of cartridges handy. I've got an Atari 2600 cartridge. This one's a Venture one. This one's actually made by Coleco. How about that? But I have this one for the ColecoVision too. Um, this is an Atari cartridge compared to, say, a uh, ColecoVision cartridge. See, the slot for this is narrower, or the, the little card edge is narrower, and this is, has little angles on it. You can sort of see the see the angles right there, especially at the top. This one's just straight. And this is a Genesis cartridge. Years later, look at me, it looks it's like narrower and smaller. And the cartridge is really, really wide. And this particular ColecoVision cartridge is a dud, by the way. It doesn't work. All you get is a funny noise and a black screen. But I'm going to set this up now so you can play it. Um, where's the ColecoVision? Can't really see that. Bring up the ColecoVision. Most of us all want to know what that looks like. I'm hoping this video is not too dark. I'm going to set it up now so we can see the game. Okay, now I demonstrate the video. Um, well, it's, it's video qu picture quality and the games for the uh, ColecoVision. I have Mr. Do, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong, Sub Rock, Cosmic Avenger, Cabbage Patch Kids, Adventures in the Park, Gorf, Carnival, and Venture. I have Sydney's Evolution, but that's a dead cartridge. Uh, you can use it with one of these Sega controllers. Sorry about the dim light. Uh, I personally use the original Coleco cartridge. I kind of hold it in one hand, like that, like across the hand with like my thumb not touching it. And this is the trigger button, and I usually have my other hand cupped over that with the joystick. I'd have the controller there, but I neglected to pick it up. But anyway, let's get on with this. I think I'll use. Um, what shall I? What shall I play? I think I'll play. Um, let's see, quickly, quickly, something that I can use simply. What doesn't take forever? I think I'll play Mr. Do. Forgot to. 
I forgot to turn off the power before I stuck the cartridge in. <laughs> Oops. I gotta, I gotta remember to stop doing that. The news have been pretty good about it. I gotta wait for the 12 second bio delay. Let's go level 1, just because it's a video. And you gotta play this white fella, who, or this white character, the one that's moving, trying to get the, cher the character, or the cherries. And he wears a nightcap and a. Well, some pretty good garment that always trails up behind him. I mean, just the coattails or something. There was another game released after this one, I believe. It was called Mr. Dew's Castle. This one's got a lot of 8-bit music in it. You see, he, ha he has weaponry, too. He has this little bouncy ball that can, like, vaporize the bad guys, who are the purple fellows who are running around. Sometimes you gotta watch out for those red things that fall on you. It's not as impressive as Gorf, but it's something kind of cool anyway. 